again! Yeah! Back with another Your Turn to Die video. Okay. So, we ended off right after we did introductions. So, now we know who everyone is. We've got Go, KG, Kana. That was- she is freaking- Uh, Kitaro. Man. Um, so, Reko. Now, Kai, Jin, Masa, Mishima. It's a solid group. <laughs> Definitely unique personality. Well, we were just talking about what we found so far. That's just what I was thinking of saying. See, I picked up this thing. Oh, it's a box. It's a huge box, meow! Wow. What if you could fit a whole watermelon in there? What in the world? <laughs> was this from the first trial? Yep. Though, I mean, bringing this box was the point of the first trial. Say what? Did some people have a different first trial? We can discuss that later. First off, let's open up this box. It ain't gonna. It's got these keyholes, see? Sarah, do you have any ideas? What? Me? I just like catching you off guard. You're so me. Lousy reason. A large box, big enough to fit a watermelon. Not big enough. Oh, hi. Not that dang it a rompa style. This is it. <laughs> the key fits perfectly in the hole. There are three keyholes, which means. Can we use our key too? Let's try it. Oh, and I wonder if Kana. Took a red key from Kana's clothes. It's not whittled down, but I'll give it a shot. Other two also fit in perfectly. All right, this might be dangerous, so leave it to the policeman. And it's open. What's inside? Uh, you might not want to look. Unfortunately, I saw it before Keiji could speak. Inside was a person's head. Oh my gosh. Dude, this game is fucked up. It is. What? This is fucked up. No! For real? Uh. Wait, isn't it just a doll? Huh? Oh. You're right. <laughs> Yo, it was a doll's head with the actual head. Dude, nah, there are some like really hyper realistic dolls. Wait, what in the world? Yeah. Uh. See, like shit like that, like they look real. That's scary. See, that looks like a kid, man. Hmm? A letter. Find my body, bring me back, for I don't have arms or legs. Find... body? Where could the body be? Do we even need to find it, Meow? This could be a trap! Look. That's true. I don't think there's any need to do what the letter says. I think it's about time we search outside of this room. Wait, isn't that dangerous? I want to get back home. Can't stand to just sit still here. L let's move in groups. So that no one does anything suspicious, right? I want to be with him. <laughs> I'm scared. If there's some other horrible device like the first trial... Me and Nao can look after Akana. If you guys are in danger, haul ass back here. Well then, who should I go with? KG. Well, I mean, it would probably be best if we went with Joe. And that's yeah. like really the only person we can fully trust. Joe, come search with me. Sorry, man. I'm going with KG. What the heck? Wow! Stealer! That's just Stealer! You're a man wow! snatcher. You're a 
a man snatcher. Wow, doing us dirty like that, Joe. Huh? Seriously. I, I see. Why with the KG? Oh my god, so. Okay, sure, fine. I'll yeah, no, look at his cute little smile. We'll search with you. You know what? Forget the other two. We don't need them. Uh, hey, Sarah, could we search together? Eh? S sorry, if you can't trust me, that's fine. It's not anything like that, just. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. I trust you too, Miss Sarah. But throwing around a word like trust makes you look suspicious, huh? No, no. It's not like I really distrust you, so. Alright. Let's get searching around. Don't have any big spills, guys. And be sure to share any info you find. Whatever. Alright, Miss Sarah. Can we go? The first trial. A doll head. And a body. Let's try to find some kind of clue. Now and Rekko are looking after a fainted katana. Sarah, come run if you're in danger, alright? Feel free to leave the heavy lifting to the guys. Then again, the scrawny beanie kid doesn't look so tough himself. You better run, too. I think she just deliberately called him a twink. <laughs> what, what a cutting remark. <laughs> Best of luck, everyone. Aww. Oh, great. Which question mark do you want to go to? <laughs> How about the first one? Oh, the question marks. That's funny. There's a green vending machine here. Seems to sell drinks, but I've got no money. A vending machine with high prices. Water and soda. Both cost a thousand yen. Talk about price gouging. How much is that in... Seven dollars in US dollars. Jeez, a thousand equals seven dollars? This looks like a bar. Seems to be a lot of alcohol present. But you're underage. So keep away, Miss Sarah. You better not drink at a time like this either, so. On the other hand, I might say there's no better time to drink. Jeez. Why is the 12 year old in here? <laughs> <laughs> of course, I've all played. Yeah, no, seriously. Professor Mishima's inspecting every inch of the room. Oh, Miss Sarah. Have you encountered any dangers? Please take utmost caution. Yes. Okay, but her. Jin is searching at a low eye level. Bars are just full of alcohol, meow. I hate alcohol, yeah. woof. And I hate my drunker dad more, meow. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh Jin. <laughs> Your dad has a bad drinking habit? He's an annoyance. Well, when you drink, you gotta be sure not to get swallowed up. Oh. I'm drinking a tea. It's good to be fine. I love so. I do like him. I love him. There's Ooh. a bunch of names oh. in the blackboard. Yeah. And drink. Or... Wait, let me go back and... Alice, Kai, Kazumi, KG, Shinke, So, Naomi, Mai, Megumi, Reko, Kikar. We don't know Alice. Do we know- I don't think we know Mai or Megumi. I don't think so either. We don't know Anzu. We don't know Kyuki either. Hinako or Renmara. I don't think we- There are so many people we don't know! Yeah. Like, where are they? Nope. I feel like there's something on the side of the table. Sliding door. There's a sliding door on the side of the counter. Um, open sliding door. Let's open it, I guess. Ah! Yeah! <laughs> Won't open. It was. <sighs> <sighs> uh, too weak. I really doubt I can open this. Well, we tried. Uh, which question mark would you like to go to next? Let's go to the third one. Uh, 
This looks like our cafeteria. I wonder if our kidnappers are telling us to eat. Yep. It's giving the cafeteria from Ding and Robo. <laughs> There's something on the table. Obtained a small dart. It's a small, but looks fancy. The tip is sharp, so be careful. There's something on the table. A, a lighter. That's an expensive looking Zippo lighter. Why do you the door to the adult. kitchen is shut fast. There's a pitch black area in the back of the cafeteria. Oh, that's a scary looking room. What imposing atmosphere? That red lamp is eerie. I think I have the courage. Um. It's giving episode one. It's giving. The door we got kidnapped in. Oh, not locked. What should we do, this, Sarah? Are we going in? Here it goes. Oh. Bunnies. Very stuffed animal. There's a heart shaped vent on. There's nothing on. Open it. A closed doll torso leans against the wall. I think this is the doll that we're getting. It's not gonna move. Could this be? The head in the box. Do you remember that note Keiji read? Find the body. Right, there was that note. In I wonder if the doll head from the box can be combined with this torso. Well, that makes something happen. It might, which is a little scary. Yeah, right. Let's switch around some more first. <laughs> oh, so. The awkward laughing. Okay. Seriously. Okay, the last question mark. Oh, the last question mark! There's a red vending machine here. It seems to sell cigarettes, and back is a smoking area, I guess? Don't buy any if you're underage, of course. Can't go turning you into a delinquent, Miss Sarah. Even lots of delinquents don't smoke, honestly. You shouldn't. Well, yeah. The vending machine is stocked with cigarettes. There's something in the fence. A paint, a cigar. It's got a high class feel, huh? I don't know. Game room? Pretty lonesome. It feels like there'd be some kind of puzzle or trick to this place. I'll rely on your insight, Miss Sarah. Dartboard. It's dreary. Who here would just feel lonely? Can I throw the dart I have? Yes. Hey! I forcefully throw my dart toward the target. Suddenly, a strong wind blows from above. The dark plummets into the darkness. Lost the dart. The same! Zero points. Well, that was that a was fucking waste. The red door is like shut you fast. For a dark board. So curious. The blue door seems to open easy. Things we can enter any time. Oh, you two There are human shaped figures sitting in there. Let's get closer and check them out. Wonder what this big painting is for. Finding it curious? Yeah. Maybe I'll try taking it off the wall. I think I'll check the easy things first. Like these chairs. Besides, Sarah, it's just barely out of your reach, huh? Hey, I grew a cinnamon here since last year. Don't make don't take me lightly. Listen, Sarah, at least you aren't five foot. Like me. <laughs> Sit, don't put me down, man. I'll be calling you shorty someday. 
Hey, Sarah, put out your hand. Um. Receive oh. three bullets. Wait, these are. No, they're not mine. Found them while checking the seats. I've never seen these in real life. Are these real bullets? Probably. Dangerous stuff. So, would you take them? Why me? Joe so will get antsy if I have them. That said, you can't get them to Joe either. So, I'm counting on you, Sarah. What is with this guy and us? I'm confused. He just thinks we're trustworthy and. I think he looks at us as like a. a leadership kind of role. It's like a whole Kyoko and Makoto situation. Nah! <laughs> it would appear this is a doll. Its placement here seems significant. That has a weighty feeling. I shake it. I hear this. Is there a liquid inside? Perhaps the kidnapper's aim is to have us get a straw and hydration. Find ourselves. The head seems pretty solidly built, though. Apologies. And just. Did you? At a time like this? <laughs> Truly sorry. Oh, Kutaro's here! <laughs> He's just in the corner. Sure, it's a suspicious place, I tell you that. Okay. Or, or tell you what. What are you doing, K Kitaro? Just getting a big old view of the room. These guys, they're checking every corner, no hesitation. Ain't they scared of traps? Something strange is sitting in the chair. Looks like it's a doll. A doll, huh? Let's take it off the chair and inspect it. The doll's attached to the chair. Feels like there's something to this. Well, that's good anyway. So what I do if I'm suddenly attacked. <coughs> hmm? Taking a closer look, there's something between the doll and the is this... a gun? A ting... a revolver! Great! We have a gun and bullets! Oh. Oh. You can do with that, Sarah. He's scaring oh. me a little now. Eh? I think he's just scared. Hi. Uh, sorry, Miss Sarah. Hey, did you see that? Uh... I... I don't want to make this decision. Um, uh, um, why, why would you want it? KG was the one who gave us the bullets. Like, what's he gonna do with the empty gun? Uh, you don't even know if it's empty or not. Shit. I think we should keep the gun. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> it's right. Let it leave your sight. It doesn't need to have bullets. Definitely don't hand it over to someone else. Oh, Whew. I understand. Oh my god, thank you so. That scared me. Yo, that was freaky. Oh, look at his smile. I love him. Can we not leave? Let's go oh, to the yo, game. Yeah, room. no. Oh my god, I'm so. Did we go inside the red room yet? Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, that's fine. We can just leave. What the heck? More okay, bullets? so I, I stopped recording so I could look around. Um, and I came back here to see if I could find anything, but apparently... Behind these stuffed animals over in the corner, there are bullets! <laughs> Which means we've got two sets of bullets now. Also, in the cafeteria, there was another dart left. Yeah, I know. It was weird. It was like the dart came back. Yeah. These feel pretty light. Hey. Uh, dummy bullets. Dummies? 
They're like toys. You put these in a gun, won't fire. So they're not real bullets. Yeah, they're safe at any rate. I know. Let's have KJ look at these. They have more expertise than us, so maybe he can tell us. I'm hoping they can give us some kind of clue about the culprit. Hey, Sarah. Found anything out? No, there's still plenty I don't get. What's especially strange to me is how there were a gun and bullets in this room. What meaning could there be to the kidnappers giving us a weapon? Might want us to cause discord. Discord? A weapon that puts one person at an advantage. Who would want to hand that over to someone else? A fight over the weapon. Yeah, that is plausible. But we've got good old Sarah with us, so we won't fall for that trap. Why do you trust me so much? Only because you're so darn cute. Ah! Katie's been intentionally guiding everyone to put their trust in me. I wonder why. I didn't expect you to respond to a compliment with a dubious look. Oh right, Keiji. I found these dummy bullets in the cafeteria. What's that? Hand the dummy bullets to Keiji. Do these seem like a clue? I'll check them out. Now, what to do while he's investigating? Uh... I guess I'll search elsewhere. Oh, Sarah, hold on a sec. Yes? Before leaving the room, I turned around and... Huh? The Sarah, aren't you coming? Uh. Oh shit! <gasps> what? What the? The Sarah, are you okay? Iron bars appeared over the door, separating me from So. What? You've been locked in? Ah! It won't open! I I'll look for something to pry with! You're not gonna pry those bars open? Dude, you're a twink! Calm down. <laughs> well, this sure is bad. KG! Sarah, you hurt? No, I'm okay, but... Damn it, it's a trap! Who knows what'll happen? Stay alert! Hey now, don't put yourself so on guard. What? Whose voice was that? Hmm? Ha ha ha. Don't sweat details. Yo, it's the painting! That's weird. I'm the master of this room. You can call me Meister. Now, to get Ugh. right to it. Now, to get right to it, let me explain the rules of the game. What? The rules? Well, of course. You wanna take stake your life without even knowing the rules? Real character, man. At least I'm here with my favorite people, though. <laughs> Stake my life. This one's simple. Right now, there's five humans in this room, right? So it's around the room. There's four open One will be the challenger, and the other four will sit down and be targets. Targets? Targets for what? Nah, um... Well, I gave you that cool weapon here in this room, didn't I? We're gonna be targets for a revolver? And what are the rules to this? Surely there's an outcome where nobody dies. <laughs> Naturally. A regular death trap is just an old hat, get me? You see, first you'll have to decide who the challenger be. Challenger for. You're telling us to decide who's gonna shoot without knowing what the game is? Who's gonna wanna be the targets? Will the challenger be safe? Yep, only the targets get to relish his thrill. What a shame. Let's see. Sarah, can I ask you to be the challenger? What? D don't kid me. You can't decide that all on your own. I suppose it may not be proper to make a girl handle a gun. I'm in favor of it myself. Sarah's got a clear head. Well, Sarah, confident? Confident? Yeah, let's do it. Are we confident? Well, yeah, but... Yes, we are confident. We are? Yes. Um, don't make me second guess myself. Are we? <laughs> Not a- <laughs> Joe, in that trial, he did what I counted on him to do. Now he's making a request of me. I'll handle this. Definitely. 
Please, let me do it. No way. Can't approve of that. It's not like I don't trust you. Don't think badly of me. Holding it to a vote. Perhaps that is the best way to settle this. Why don't we discuss it, and then hold a majority vote? Yeah, might be the only way. Oh, shit. This is all gonna lead into the beginning scene, isn't it? Because you remember the beginning scene where Mr. Yeah. Blue and Miss Red? And I'm telling you that was so, right? Yeah, oh yeah, that's what I was thinking it was, yeah. Right. Gotcha. Let's do it. Ah, oh, the violins and all the orchestra in the background is so good. Talk to me when you're all set. I'll be standing right here. Be prepared for the discussion? Always on your side. And he has someone we can trust. That scared me. Alright, let's discuss who's gonna take the role of challenger. Once we've settled our, our opinion, we'll hold a vote up. Sarah, you know what's up. Show Kitaro what makes you worth trusting. We gotta have the one we can trust most by be the challenger, I'm thinking. No objections there, right? So let's talk it out. Straight to the point, I got experience handling guns, so leave being the challenger to me. Is that true? Yep, I hate lies. I got real acquainted with shooting them- shooting when I went to the U.S. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my, oh god. my god! Of course you got experience with guns when you came to the U.S.A. I'm fucking dead. I'm dead. So you're saying you've had training? I'll keep it simple, too. Kitaro, even if you do have experience, I can't trust you. Oh, snap. Really, Damn. now? Sorry. The mood has become tense. Hmm. I'm undecided. It pains me to put the responsibility on Sarah. She'll be fine! Sarah's got a mind of steel. Let's call her Steel Mind. Peace, Joe. Steel Mind? <laughs> Don't get caught up on that part. No, seriously. Well, Sarah, can you think of any rebuttals? Rebuttals? There isn't a lot I can say myself, is there? I'll think about it. Ask me if you're not sure. We'll stress about it together. But won't necessarily settle it. Now, a lot of people in this country who handle guns. Not a lot of people in this country who handle guns. My experience is valuable, ain't it? We don't know what the game entails, but if it requires skills with a gun, yes. Right. I ain't thinking a single thought about keeping my own hide safe. I'm just considering the best way to beat this game. I... I do get what you're saying, but... You guys gotta think about it rationally. It's not like we're not thinking either, okay? So I'm not confident in holding a gun myself, so it's a question of who I would wish. Of course, there is someone here who would be well suited to such a task. For some reason, presenting himself. <laughs> Whatever the case, <laughs> if he refuses it, I have no desire to ask. Just go to the side. How troubling. Yeah, no, he's like, uh, not me. <laughs> We don't have enough time. Time to build trust, better. Precisely. And yet, it appears you are very trust. Oh, yourself? Yes. If I may offer my interpretation, perhaps it's because Sarah and Joe are because those two can vouch for you. Included, they can trust you. Yes. Do I look that calculating? It comes as a real shock. It's just intuition. I'm confident in my eye for people. See. However, he's missing from the story. Oh yeah. 
Don't look so nervous. Put on your usual big shot attitude. Who do you even think I am? No, seriously. The godfather of Sonobeno High School. Ugh, can you think about this seriously? It's not to object, you just need to gain trust. Gain trust, yeah. It's hard to tell everyone to trust me. I'm just a regular high school student. True. <laughs> Thinking about it logically, you don't have much ground to stand on, Sarah. In that case, how about you have two people's statements? Duke it out. Duke it out? Yeah, pit opposing statements against each other to advance the discussion. So, you're saying to borrow the words of others. I'll give it a try. Kitaro. Oh, I'm so smart. I love being smart. Kitaro, even if you do have experience, I can't trust you. Why is that? Ain't experience important for this? It's because I can't imagine this game requires skill with a gun. Say what? Look at the room. These dolls curious? I'm betting they're dummy targets. Dummies? Shoot a human or shoot a doll. That's probably what the game's about. That's important is a cool head. Targets can't move from the chairs anyhow. I'm always cool-headed, believe it or not. Even when oh. you're pointing a gun at someone? Get him? Um. It's an awful thing when the person you're looking at could die by your hand. You ever experienced that? I trust somebody determined to save her friend, but an amateur with some average training. I get it. Maybe I might not be up for it. But still, I got more to say. Suppose I'll listen. KG, doesn't that mean we should have you be the challenger? You must have been in tons of gunfights in your line of work. But that is true. Indeed. Wondering about that myself. Why the policeman who would be most suitable is not recommending himself? Guess you would think so, huh? If I'm gonna put my life on the line, I want the most dependable person I can get. If it ain't me, then it's KG. You're the only one. KG, what's the matter? We won't know if you keep quiet. You refuse. I wish to know the reason. This way will prove an issue. We cannot end our discussion at this time. Really? Casey's lips are sealed. I don't want to assume he's never fired a gun, because I don't know if that's going to be an insult or not. But then, like, we also pretty much know why he's making us do it already. Yeah. So I guess it's why are you silent? KG, why are you staying silent? KG, answer me! Whoa. <laughs> We're all being serious. If you don't say what you're thinking, we won't know. <laughs> what are you, my mom? <laughs> uh, gee, I no, love this. The time. I love the time. This, uh, that was a good laugh. All right, I'll explain. I shot a person. Since then, I haven't been able to fire a gun. Oh. Huh? Oh. I know it's pathetic. I've been prepared for that when I became a detective. Oh, so he's a detective, not just a policeman. Whoa, Jeez. give me Kyoko Kiri, Kiri vibes. I know. Both are detectives. Keiji is consistently like, right, Sarah? Don't you think, Sarah? Hey, Sarah, how about you do that? Just like Kyoko. Do all detectives do that? But if something like that happened, wouldn't it make the news? Reality is not only what comes to the surface. That's all I got. It's the truth. I doubt he'll tell me any more. But it seems I've extracted a new statement out of Keiji.
Is that the truth? Yeah. On the job, right? Did the one you shoot die? Traumatic, I bet. I feel sorry I can't live up to your expectations. Ever since then, pointing a gun at somebody makes my head go weird. I can't stop sweating. We don't want to make you do it, then. So then you'll count on Sarah, right, Kitaro? Well, hold on now, I'm still uneasy. It's our lives what's on the line, right? Uh, Kitaro! I managed to convince him this much with everyone else's words. Sarah. But in the end, I had to persuade K Kitaro myself. Use your words and prove to me that you're worth trusting. Understood. Oh shit. Uh. My age or being a high schooler shouldn't matter. Then if a grade schooler like Jin were here, would you have him do it? I mean. Obviously, we want someone with experience. That was a failure. Keiji's trauma means he isn't even able to point a gun at a person. But even still... Would you put your life in the hands of someone who wouldn't trust himself? Damn it, that's true. It's not that I distrust you, Kutaro. Then would you let me be the challenger? I mean, show uh... it with your actions. Joe and Keiji have acknowledged me from the start. God. And even now, that hasn't been shaken. Kitaro, please, believe in me too. Ugh. That's exactly why I definitely won't mess this up. Not only Joe, but Kitaro, Keiji, Kai. I won't let any of our, your lives be taken. Kitaro, right now, you can't possibly feel a stronger determination than me. You got a point there. To me, you're strangers I just met, all of you. Can I bet on your desire to save your friend? Please, count on me! What a weird-ass high school girl. <laughs> Did we win? Did we? <gasps> I'm exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> me too. I've never strained my voice so much before. Being honest and arguing it out is kind of refreshing, though. Huh? Well, the discussion's settled down. Can we have our vote soon? Right, sorry. Now you two are tired, but let's get started. Damn, uh, Kai! Damn, Kai. Well, seems it's decided. There'd be no objections, right? <laughs> Naturally. Sarah, ain't hardly any kids these days who can make themselves as clear as you. I feel like I can bet on ya. Kitaro. What a cool thing to say. Man, looking at you guys just makes me feel like I'm being selfish. Alright, good luck with the rest, Sarah. It's all riding on you. Right. Leave it to me. Well then. Kai. Now's not the time to think about the meaning of Kai's vote. Things are just about to get started. Okay. Once I prepare myself, I'll talk to the man in the painting. Okay. I think we should end it here. I think that's a good place to leave off. We just had that long discussion, and we're gonna find out what we have to do next time. Yes. Okay. Well, that was interesting. Very. What do you think? I feel bad for KG and the whole gun thing. I know, that's really sad. Like, I feel bad for him. I don't think Kai trusts us. I really don't think he does either. And I'm really sad by that, but it's okay. You can't have yeah. everyone trust you. Okay. I'm um, surprised we got Kitaro to trust us, though. I think Kitaro's a really honest guy. He is. Yeah, no, I, I think he is. He's genuinely just trying to look out for everyone. I'm wondering where So is. 
Because I'm surprised no one has come to the bars and, like, tried to see what's going on yet. Yeah. Well then, I guess we'll continue in the next episode. Hope you enjoyed! Bye, everyone! Bye! Bye!